What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 39 of the Town Hall 12 free-to-play series. Today, we're going to take a look at Mass Hog Rider on a maxed-out Town Hall 12. I am not kidding. Look at this Town Hall 12, guys. This thing is fully maxed out. Defensively, the heroes are fully maxed out. Now, we're over in Paradox Reloaded today, and this is, in fact, Potato Cake. Oh, yeah, man. I got to love that name right there. That's wild. <laughs> you got to love it. And the R army that he uses is 34 hog riders but he does also have maxed out heroes for town hall 12 so there are some things about these bases that you need to understand when it comes to why these attacks are effective because not every single army is going to work on every single base and you have to understand as you develop as a town hall 12 player into town hall 13 you might need to understand how to read these bases and be able to break them down to select the army that you might want to use. And besides, this attack strategy is very abnormal. We normally see a lot of dragons, we see a lot of witches, we see avalanches, we see all these different strategies, but Mass Hog Rider is really not one of those ones that is overly used. So when we look at this base, let's try something different today to help you understand why this army works in the first place. Let's split the base into quadrants and show you each section of the base. Now there are some rules when it comes to the use of the hog rider that you need to understand you should have learned these rules down in the lower town hall levels is that the hog rider is a defensive seeking troop it gets taken out very easily by the archer queen if there are enemy clan castle troops those will also destroy your hog rider so you have some things that you need to do before you place your hog riders on the map you must be able to eliminate certain situations like we got going down here in this lower quadrant we we have a Barbarian King, an Archer Queen, a Grand Warden, two Expos, one, two Wizard Towers, and we have various defenses as well. But you'll notice that we lead directly into an Eagle Artillery in the center of the village, and then just above that we also have the Clan Castle troops. So if you have high level heroes like this, you should have enough power to get inside the village and take down these heroes as well as that Eagle Artillery when you link it into the Log Launch and the ice golems that's exactly what potato cake is gonna do he's gonna start with his entry point down here in the bottom side of this village and he's gonna start out by dropping one single balloon one single hog rider to destroy each of these archer towers he's doing some funneling to get us started because the ice golems are also defensive seekers so he drops his three ice golems once those two archer towers are gone and he's gonna follow up the ice golems with some wizards as well as the log launcher now the log launcher is doing damage to the inferno tower as well as doing some damage to that archer queen and it's also opening up compartments for the heroes here comes our barbarian king and our archer queen now he's also going to place three headhunters because the frozen heroes will get taken out very easily with the headhunters which frees up the barbarian king and the archer queen to eliminate additional buildings and keep progressing deeper in the village now the log is going to do some serious damage to that eagle artillery and everything is going to keep moving forward inside of the log launcher i believe there was a pekka and another ice golem while the king and the queen pull the clan castle troops out and inside there is a headhunter archers and a lava hound this makes it incredibly easy he's going to drop a poison spell for those clan castle troops and the archer queen and the king are going to distract and destroy the pups with the assistance of the poison spell now i want to zoom out and show you what the base looks like now so now that he's eliminated all these buildings down in this lower quadrant now we have that l shape for your hog riders and so since hog riders are a defensive seeking troop they're going to progress through this section of the village bouncing from defense to defense all the way through and that's what the four heal spells are used for as well as the grand warden the grand warden will be used in this area for the town hall let me show you how this looks so the hogs are being placed 
not all of them. He's going to drop some of them. He's going to place his warden, and then he's going to sneak in hog riders on this archer tower, trying to keep the main group inside the village, and he's going to use his heal spells by linking them together as the hog riders progress forward, going through the expo, the bomb tower, wizard tower, and then he's going to go up into this zone where the town hall is located, and he's also going to have another heal spell dropped here very soon as these hogs work through these point defenses, taking down the wizard tower and then at 51 percent the town hall will be activated as the hogs take down the town hall he's going to use the warden's ability to protect those hogs from the giga bomb and then they're going to keep moving forward through the backside defenses while the barbarian king works through the final inferno tower and that's pretty much it guys we're on cleanup so i mean you notice how he broke this village down into quadrants and found all the little weaknesses within the defensive placements as well as the troop placements in the heroes and it just worked out really nicely so i mean not every single base out there looks like this this is something that you have to be aware of is that when you're planning your attacks you need to understand what you could possibly do on this base right here i feel like you could also do a lalo as well in a very similar manner but in this case potato cake chose to go with a full 34 hog riders there's your army right there all right so i need some honest feedback from you guys do you you prefer intense breakdowns like that i need comments down below on this one whether you enjoy stuff like that or is it just kind of boring and you don't want to see it at all i understand if you don't but some players out there really do value the details of a high-end attack like that and why it actually worked by the way i did share that attack strategy over on amazon game on the other day be sure to check out that application it's a really good way to share quick strategies just like that there is a link down in the description below for you if you're interested in that app so we're gonna go ahead and move into an army that's a little bit more relatable to a lot of players out there because there's a lot of viewers out there that love the dragon attack strategies and in this case we have a zap quake dragon and there's a reason behind this when we look at this village you're gonna notice that there is a multi-target inferno tower surrounded by air defenses this is a big weakness and a big perk for the use of dragons because you guys know how this goes down four lightning spells on that inferno tower will take it out with the assistance of an earthquake spell and that's exactly what the godfather is going to do here but he's going to start out with some battle blimp action first on the town hall exposing this little hole in the base you notice a little hole right there he's going to drop some stuff in it as well as the battle blimp and target the town hall first he's going to drop the balloon find a seeking air mine drop a giant drop the battle blimp going in there and i think there's going to be possibly some sneaky goblins that find a giant bomb but there's also a yeti inside that blimp which is in fact going to take down the town hall he's also going to pull the clan castle troops drop his king on the upper right side of the village and he's also going to drop those lightning spells notice the lightning spells very confident stuff here he knew that he was going to eliminate the air defenses and that multi-target inferno tower so the king is over there working we had a wizard helping him out with the elimination of the headhunter archers leaving the lava hound alone because once that lava hound is popped that's when it becomes more of a threat in this stage it's not really doing much of anything on the opposite side of this base he's going to do a bit of a queen walk notice the queen walk up in the northern corner of this village or the 12 o'clock he's going to drop a dragon to funnel out a few more buildings and you notice the path look at the big straight line across the base going into a multi-target air defense eagle artillery archer queen as well as that wizard tower but the queen's job was to funnel she he is clearing these exterior buildings for our dragons now that lava hound is going to go target the queen it's going to go all the way across the base but at this point it really doesn't matter dragons are going to go into a rage spell grand warden's abilities used taking down the eagle artillery moving into an air sweeper another air defense and the queen is going to eliminate the lava hound on the opposite side and keep moving forward destroying these buildings right here while a freeze spells dropped on that air defense to give the dragons time to eliminate it i mean 
he just made it look way too easy way too easy on this and that's just because that defensive flaw on this base with the air defenses next to the inferno tower so we're gonna go ahead and speed it up that way you can see the final results for yourself because at this point or this stage of the attack the dragons are strong enough to take down the rest of the base by themselves but the big perk here is the fact that he also has his archer queen which will speed things up and he's gonna go into these final defenses in the wizard tower and the archer tower taking down the final mortar and then there is your army right there. <laughs> So that was two different attack strategies that you guys might like. Most of you probably prefer the dragons over the mass hog rider anyways, but they were still two beautiful attacks from our players over here in Paradox Reloaded. Thank you so much guys for having me today. And I also want to kind of address a question that pops up regularly in my comments section. Players are always asking, why aren't you using these attack strategies in Clan War Joe? And the fact of the matter is, is that I think a lot of you guys fail to realize that we are playing free to play. We are grinding heroes guys we're grinding them trying to get them done as soon as the game will allow us to do because we don't have a lot of magic items we don't buy the gold pass so we don't have all those additional perks helping us move forward i explained all of this stuff yesterday in the q a stream that you might have missed and if you did miss it and you want to watch it you can always jump over to twitch.tv forward slash clash attacks with joe and check it out and we'll also be streaming again later on tonight at 7 p.m eastern standard time so again we do our best to try to replicate these attacks when we are in clan war leagues but right now we just got to focus on these hero upgrades that way we can get them done and start working on the strategies that we're trying to present to you from my clan mates because they're mostly maxed out already and we want to provide you awesome stuff so you got to remember that we have exactly 11 days on until <laughs> until the clan war leagues and there's also 11 days until the season pass finishes up so you got to make sure that you get that free book of heroes and our goal for the next 11 days is to make sure that we get our queen and our grand warden back down for the next seven days that way we can gain another level there and also use a book on one of them to get them closer to maxed out we're really really close on these guys the uh, warden's going to 33 right now the queen is going to level 61 and our king is down to level 55 we did that in the live stream the other day so let's go out and see if we can find an attack live or some resources that way we can finish out today's video and as a matter of fact you guys are always good luck look at that find right there i mean are you serious right now that is amazing so we're gonna go ahead and do this let's see we got two air defenses side by side are you kidding me right now <laughs> i like that i love that so let's go ahead and roast some air defenses and get some dark elixir in the process one two and three three there we go we probably could have took out that warden warden as well but it didn't work out that way let's go ahead and drop three right here one two and three and then we're gonna go ahead and do this let's grab a wizard tower and a bomb to actually you know what let's do yeah let's go ahead and do this let's go one two and three grab the wizard tower and the bomb tower and the air defense let's go ahead and drop baby dragons around the village and we also have a blizzard that we can use that way we can grab the town hall get the win even though we really don't need to get the town hall because baby dragons are good enough to get the one star on their own but for you know a little bit of dramatic effect why not take down the town hall but we got to make sure that we clear out the dark elixir first so let's go baby dragon here here take care of some of these uh hidden teslas man these things are powerful bro <laughs> Oh my god wow oh my goodness they are roasting my baby dragons quick so there's still dark elixir down here there's still dark elixir right there let's go ahead and drop one baby dragon there we got the one star we might need to shift our attention otherwise uh from the town hall let's see what the baby dragons do here we're gonna take down a cannon and let's try let's get a baby dragon all right you know what let's do this let's go air uh, battle blimp here drop baby dragon distract that queen a little bit okay battle blimps distracted or the queen's on the battle blimp right now itself so let's go and get the invisibility spell down there we go drop our rage did we get a, get on target i think we did let's go ahead and drop our invisibility spell again super wizards are still working they're gonna roast that queen a little bit 
Will they take the town hall? No, they will not. They were close, but they got all the resources, and that's all that really mattered here. So we missed out on a little bit of resources. Let's grab that uh, drill that I almost missed. I'm glad I saw that, because some of you guys out there might have got triggered by seeing that. And let's go ahead and walk away from that tack with a massive amount of resources. What a whale, man. 10,000 Dark Elixir, and that is going to finish us up for today, guys. We're just going to keep grinding like usual on this free-to-play account, but we're going to finish this thing and max it out. And if you're following along with the series you got this i promise you you can max it out you just got to stick with it that's all it really boils down to and hopefully i'm providing you a little bit of motivation if you enjoyed today's content make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you would like to see the very beginning of this town hall 12 free to play series or the town hall 11 free to play series from 2020 click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care